Hello, our distinguished VIPs. Welcome to the concierge. Service is at the core of the hospitality industry. Everyone knows that customer satisfaction, honesty, and transparency is key to a wonderful experience at any hotel. Naturally, we expect the hotel to deliver everything as promised, keeping their words to us and maintaining integrity. Usually, hotels are upfront and honest. Unless, of course, we're talking about one of those hotels Gordon Ramsay visits. However, just because hotels are transparent about your booking with them does not mean they are honest about everything. In fact, there are three sneaky secrets hotels are hiding from us. The final secret is actually a secret weapon hidden in your breakfast buffet, so make sure you keep a lookout for that. The first secret is that hotels actually stalk you on your social media and other platforms. If you thought your ex-girlfriend's stalking skills were great, you might want to hear this. Before we dive into how hotels secretly stalk you, we should first look at why hotels even bother to do that. Why can't hotels just leave us alone like any other businesses such as Facebook? Wait, no. Amazon? Uh, Target? Never mind. Hotels stalk us for the same reason why any other businesses do it as well. Increasing revenue. Hotels have a very unique business model that works differently from the economics of other businesses. When you think of a business like Apple, the iPhone 12 was just released which means I can finally afford the iPhone 7. Despite the large demand for the iPhone 12, Apple can maximize its revenue simply by ramping up productions and manipulating its supply. Theoretically, Apple can keep manufacturing the latest iPhone 12 and supplying it to meet the demand until no more iPhone 12s are demanded at the price of $9.99. This is what we call an equilibrium. The airline industry works a little bit differently. The supply of the number of flights can certainly be ramped up by simply buying more planes, taking more planes out of the storage, or scheduling more flights at maximum capacity. However, airlines have another secret trick they use to maximize revenue. Manipulating the quantity demanded. When air tickets are cheaper, quantity demanded increases. When air tickets are more expensive, the quantity demanded decreases. This basic economic principle is the reason why airplane tickets are constantly changing. By manipulating the supply and the quantity demanded, airlines can find that sweet spot where the most number of flights are demanded at the highest possible price to give the largest possible revenue. In comparison, Apple cannot manipulate the quantity demanded by suddenly increasing the price of the latest iPhone 12 from one kidney to two and a half kidneys. This is where the first dirty secret lies with the hotel industry. Hotels cannot manipulate the supply at all and must rely completely on manipulating the quantity demanded. It doesn't matter if tourists are flocking to your city to catch the royal wedding or if a global pandemic has turned your city into a ghost town. The maximum number of rooms you can provide will always remain the same. No factories can manufacture more rooms for you and you can't just build three more floors of rooms. So, the only option left is to manipulate the demand and maximize revenue from there. By stalking your social media and other platforms, hotels receive three key benefits. The first benefit hotels get is they can predict you and your family's travel habits. If your social media profile indicates you have a family of four, this likely means you'll be booking either one family room or two double rooms. However, if you and your sibling are really young, it can also be accurately predicted that one family room is more likely to be booked than two double rooms because your family will unlikely leave you and your sibling in another room. Your past travel records also tell the hotel favorite hotspots your family love to visit during the seasons. Perhaps summer has always been the time for a trip down to Florida or a family visit to Europe during the Christmas seasons. By forecasting where you are going, when you are going, and what kind of rooms you will book, hotels can then compare it with other guests to decide on a price that earns them the highest revenue. Believe it or not, state-of-the-art revenue management softwares like this already exist today with integration to popular platforms such as Instagram, TripAdvisor, and a hotel's internal database. With the power of machine learning, these softwares can also stop you and identify which type of guest you are. This brings us to the second benefit, guest type identification. If you are a budget-conscious youth traveler, the software will likely pick up on that and offer you budgeted rooms. 
But if you are traveling with your family or you are an elderly couple with lots of retirement funds to spare, you can be sure that hotels will pick up on that too and make more money off you. The final benefit of stalking you gives the hotel the chance to upsell extra services to you. Some of these revenue management software have begun to experiment with basic artificial intelligence to accurately pick up clues on what kind of additional services you may need. If you're a couple on a honeymoon, perhaps the hotel can upsell massage and spa packages to you, maybe even an overpriced romantic candlelit dinner. If you are an adventurous youth, perhaps a tour package of the nearby mountain range will be appealing to you. Speaking of appealing to you, here at The Concierge, we cover all conceivable topics about the hotel industry and we bring in concepts ranging from economics to psychology and we even add in our own experience working in the hotel industry. Please, like, subscribe and turn on the bell notification to show your support because our channel is so new, we had to design our own logo in Microsoft Paint. It is totally free for you to just subscribe and turn on the bell notification but it will boost our morale, so let's not discount that effort. Speaking of discounts, the second secret hotels hide from us is that discounted rooms get you discounted experiences. If you think you found a great deal on one of those popular booking sites, promising you a 40%, 50%, or even 80% discount on a hotel room, think again. These hotels likely had their original price already inflated, so that after the discount, it is only slightly cheaper than the original price. After all, booking sites take up as much as 25% commission for making a sale, so it is very common for hotels to artificially pump up the price of the rooms listed on those sites. But you still get to have the rooms at a slightly cheaper rate, right? Is that still a win for you? Well, the discounted rooms may be slightly cheaper, but the overall experience you get will be far less. Many hotels are now sending out surveys to the guests who book directly from their own website. These surveys collect useful information for them to customize your room to your needs, plan an itinerary for you, allow you to select a room with a view of your choice, and even reward you with loyalty points. You may even be prompted to download their app that comes with a 24-7 customer service chatbot and dining vouchers are sometimes included as well. This is known as the vertical integration model, where companies try to provide the best experience for their customers from start to finish. Think of it as buying an iPhone at an Apple store versus a generic retail store that sells all kinds of phones. Same price, same iPhone, but different level of services. In the case of booking hotels, booking sites just cannot provide the level of detail and attention that the hotel's own website can give you. In addition, not all hotel rooms are created equal. Some hotel rooms have not had their carpets washed. Perhaps it is slightly smaller due to architectural constraints, or maybe it used to have a bad bug infestation problem. It should not come as a surprise that such rooms will be the ones listed for discounts on booking sites. At the end of the day, you really do get what you paid for. The final secret is that hotels use their breakfast buffet as a secret weapon to manipulate guests. Most hotels already know breakfast buffets are not as popular as they used to be. With Google Maps and tech-savvy millennials, guests will often rather eat out at a nearby cafe that serves delicious local delicacies than to spend money at an overpriced breakfast buffet serving scrambled eggs and bacon. If you are wondering why hotels don't attempt to serve better breakfast, it is because eggs, bacon, croissants, pancakes, and cereal are low cost and low effort to cook. Regardless of how many guests a hotel is expecting, these simple breakfast items can be cooked really quickly and cheaply at whatever quantity the hotel needs to produce. So why don't hotels just get rid of the breakfast buffets? Well, for starters, having a breakfast buffet is a requirement for all hotels that are two stars and above. Getting rid of it means the hotel can only be a one-star hotel at best. Hotels also don't want to make their breakfast buffets cheaper to compete with local cafes because they don't actually expect you to pay for it. Many hotels are now using the breakfast buffets as rewards in their loyalty programs. Many hotels also deliberately remove breakfast buffets from discounted rooms booked through booking sites 
and use the breakfast buffets to lure guests to book directly from there. Avoiding the 25% commission that booking sites charge, hotels can even offer their rooms at a cheaper rate than booking sites, plus throw in a complimentary breakfast buffet with a direct booking. It is now a no-brainer to book directly with the hotel. Some hotels even give out free complimentary breakfast buffets at random just to surprise the guests and make them feel the service at the hotel is exceptional. Since hotels are practically giving away breakfast buffets as rewards or free upgrades, it makes sense to charge a higher price so guests perceive they are getting a really good deal that is worth a lot of value. Hopefully, you find the value from this video to be worth a lot more than the complimentary breakfast buffet you received at your last vacation. Hotels do have their secrets, but fortunately, they are not that shady and are often used to maximize revenue or customize your stay with them. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the bell notification so you will be notified the next time we make another video about hotels. This is the best way to support us right now and we hope you enjoyed learning about the secrets of the hotel industry. Enjoy your stay with us. This is The Concierge, checking out.